Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day 12 of Baby Got Scraps. It is also mixed media mayhem and the recipe for today, one has my personal prompt of texture paste, two is sequins and three is paper scraps. So I went through my little mini paper pads and I was able to pull in Remaining, I think there's one sheet left from this, so I just stuck it on top from the uh, Dream Big uh, Fancy Pants from 2017. So that's done. And this one right here from way back in the day, Serene Scenery from Stampin' Up. And there is no date on this, but you guys, this is probably 8 to 10 years old. I'm going to use my... Um, Scrap Room kit from November, one of them from the uh, uh, Flavors of the Month. We're going to use that for embellishments, and I've pulled out this a 12 by 12 piece of paper that I'm going to use. This right here, I know it's 12 by 12, but I'm actually using it to make my design, so not be incorporated. I'm going to use this stencil from Scrapping Reflections. And then here are all the mini papers that I pulled from the various collections. I got two of those. Single of that. That. And that. I'm going to use these six to match. Is these somehow. I'm going to create a shaker pocket. And I've got these two photos right here. So one is going to go down there, and one's going to go up there, and there's going to be like a like that. Okay. <laughs> now you guys totally understood what I was saying. So we need a shaker. We need sequins. Um, that might actually work. I think I'm going to create a few shakers. I kind of have it in my head. So like, okay. Let me zoom in real quick so I can show you what's in my head. Too far. All right. So if we got, this is the layout. And this is kind of how I do things, you guys. So we're going to have one photo here and one photo here. And then it's going to go into a bigger, like, you know, something that lines. And we'll have the texture paste all through here. And then this will be the patterned paper without texture paste, right? And then we do like shaker, shaker something, you know, I don't know. We're going to fill in the voids with some shakers. So my idea. We've got that one. We've also got May's Days, which I thought I used that up, but apparently I had two of them. Really would like to use that one, but it's just not going to work. We have Sweet Maggie's Train. Work, not feeling the vibe of it. Sea Glass No, because it's got the turquoise. I have a lot of white, but I'm going to use texture paste. Maybe on that one. The goal is to actually make a few small and try to use the whole. So those are my three possibilities. All right. Oh, could you not see that? <laughs> That's why they don't allow me to have a remote. All right. So we've got these three possibilities. I apologize for being zoomed in that far. Oopsie. All right, so we're just going to do this. Trim. Trim the old branding strip, and that is Bushels from Autumn Vibes Photo Play. Mm -hmm. 
So that's you guys coming down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm like losing my little froggy voice, so we'll do something like that. And then I wanna Oopsie. All right, so I've got that. Those will get matted. I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to use that on top to pretty much just mat. Just kind of be a bit of a on the wonk there. Real quick, while I do some four. Let's see, Kitty, and I'm not even getting on the line. Hey, Sam, hold on a minute. Let me finish this little segment. Okay. I'm going to save that template for another day, but here was my idea. Just kind of put that on there, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the stencil on top, and then just fill this in with texture paste. Yes, he didn't, but like waiting for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that and let this let it dry, and then we'll come back and you know do the fun. Uh, decorating and I think I'll create shaker I don't know if I'll create the shaker packets until I see what I've got going on so give me a minute I'll be back all right so we've got that fun <laughs> Whoop. I've got my pictures matted this one has popped up on the rest of that um, circle foam so I've used all that up this has popped up on fun foam with lots of different layers. I've got four shakers and I've actually matched them to the uh, matting. And then look how fun those are. Okay, anyway, I've pulled two things from the cute little ephemera pack. So I've got this I am blessed beyond measure. Put that right down here. And then the Hello Fall. Uh, we'll put that up here. Get that there, and then I have, and that's from that little uh, paper uh, ephemera pack. All right, we need a title. Uh, great memories. Oh, goodness. Right across there. Bring that maroon color up. And then mm. Let's go with thankful right there, but we're going to put some um, liquid adhesive on it because of the texture paste that is there. I just want to make sure that it does, in fact, stay put. We're just going to go right there. Okay. Oh, we've got lots of fun little uh, 40 bits. Hmm. This guy right there, and then we're going to tuck in the sweater on that side. And then obviously the cute little socks, because the sweater's up here, so the socks is down here. We got an apple, an apple up there. It's making sense in my head. Pumpkin. Maybe not too much. 
with some of these wordy bits, so I like the whole hoodies thing. And then over here, we got hoodies. A little sweater weather. We'll just, you guys can't really see what I'm doing. We're going to decorate this little shaker packet up. Um, thankful hearts. That's kind of cute. Mm. You put that little leaf there. What do you guys think? All right. Mm -hmm. A little fall memories right here so it does kind of blend in a little bit but I'm okay with that all right so we used a little bit of this a lot of that pull this down and see if we have any Well, bits and bobs that we want to use, right? So these are from Close to My Heart. They're the dots from Chris Air. Don't even know when that collection was. Oh, hello. So let's put the little gold ones out. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Although I'm really liking it. I mean, not a lot of embellishments, but simple isn't always bad. That's not gonna work today. This is so cute. Um, I am not thinking anything else in here is going to get used. All right, you guys. I actually think that's going to do it because it's got a lot of moving parts with the uh, shake with the four shakers overlap. So how I did that, in case you're wondering, is I actually just stuck it right on top and stuck some foam right underneath there. So. That turned out fabulous, and I love the layout. So don't. Oh wait a minute. Oh, I got it all. Okay, so don't forget to check everyone else out that is playing along with mixed media mayhem and baby got scraps. So my personal prompt today for myself was texture paste, and mixed media mayhem's recipe was texture paste, sequins, and um, paper scraps. So I got that. I really like that. I mean, I need to do that more often. It's just create a shape and then like, you know, I just filled her right up and it was good to go. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.